everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> everybody it's Alma we are getting ready to do some meal prep guys now this is items that you did not see in my recent grocery hauls but sometimes I just do that yeah it's been a kind of a hectic couple weeks uh, since Matthew went to school so here guys I bought this stuck it in the freezer and uh, took it back out so I could cook this check it out this is boneless pork belly this is from Costco $3.49 a pound and pretty good pricing there and then some wings that I picked up at Randall so I'm gonna go ahead and get these started and these will cook in the air fryer and uh, we'll be cooking this on the skillet guys okay, so I cut open the pork belly and look at this thick slicing guys all right guys all right, here's the pork belly. I am uh, just flipped it over. It's gonna cook a little bit longer. I think what I'll end up doing this is, cre is cooking this over a green sauce and serving it with some Mexican rice. And by Mexican rice, I mean cauli rice, all right? And then here are the um, green beans that you saw from my grocery haul, along with some little onions and some butter. And I'm going to use a little bit of heavy whipping cream as well as this truffle. And boy, guys, this has a pungent, pungent flavor. David really liked it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and include that in my um, delicious cream spinach. All right, guys, here we are. So let me show you what we have going on on our cream spinach. Now, check in the upper right-hand corner. There's a recipe for the original version, but very seldomly do I do the same thing twice, guys, except maybe wings, pretty consistent there. However, for this one, I added um, onions. I don't have any mushrooms in here because I'm using that truffle cheese and I used probably about half of that package in there. I also used about a tablespoon of this black garlic. This is a spread that comes from Sprouts. They also sell it in a horseradish. Delicious, both of these are so good. Macros aren't terrible. And some heavy whipping cream. And lastly guys, I chopped up two slices of my pork belly. And I am going to throw in the pork belly. Sliced it up. I'm gonna put that into my lovely spinach along with some red pepper flakes. And I, of course, used my smoked salt that I purchased from Big Lots. It's actually pecan smoked sea salt. Love this stuff, guys. So good. Check out your Big Lots, see if you can find it. I went there the other day. I picked up two more bottles of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cooking. Here is the pork belly. Doesn't take long to cook this, really, guys. All right, guys, in the air fryer, look at that. Our wings are cooking along. Hey, guys, so I have finished my cream spinach. I'm moving on to the next dish. I have about two tablespoons of my bacon drippings along with about two ounces of onions. I'll be adding to it this lovely coleslaw. This is the tri coleslaw from Sprouts. And I'll cook that down and then add up this shrimp and sea scallops, which you saw in my grocery haul, along with two pieces chopped up of the pork belly. And then we'll finish off with tons of Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna get this cooked up and uh, we'll be adding the rest. I have a very similar recipe to this, different ingredients, as I always do. You can use andouille sausage, you could use ground beef, whatever proteins you have. Leftover rotisserie chicken, whatever you have, guys, use it. Guys, I have the two packages of coleslaw, the tri-color coleslaw being cooked. I also have the uh, <laughs> rest of my, my dog is making noise. I've got the rest of the um, pork belly, and then this is up next to cook down, which will go inside of here. Now, this here, as well as the cream spinach, can be eaten along with my chicken wings, which I've got going. So here is the cabbage. Now, I like to cook it down to where it's virtually translucent. Sometimes I want it a little more al dente. Sometimes this is perfect. So in here, guys, I added two slices of the pork belly, the package of uh, base scallops from my haul, as well as a package of that shrimp salad from my haul. And then finally, guys, look at that. Oh my gosh, this can be a meal in and of itself. I'm gonna try and include the macros on this. And then for my haul, I had this minced roasted garlic and extra virgin olive oil. Now, if you want this to be a little bit creamier, you could definitely add some heavy whipping cream into this. And then the balance of my Parmesan cheese, this whole container, and let it cook down. Meal prep 
done. So here is my cabbage hash that I made. Again, with many of the uh, items that I purchased at Aldi's this week. Here are my wings. These were on sale, got these on Tuesday from Randall's. Here is the lone patty, cheese patty. Uh, check that grilled cheese patty out uh, in my grocery haul, all right? And then, whoo, cream spinach. And then I'll be cooking uh, more soup recipes tomorrow with this. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like